Hi guys, I'm back with another Cheetah 3D quick tip. Uh, this is one that a lot of people stumble on um, and have a bit of trouble with. So what it is, is punching a hole in a box. Um, a lot of people first port of call would be using a boolean, so they would grab their box or their object, whatever it is, and a cylinder, let me just pump this radius down, get them all height so we can see what's going on. And what they would do then is throw in boolean, throw the box in, let me just get the right order here. There we go. And that for all, it looks okay. Um, see we've got a perfect hole in the box. Um, the problem with booleans is they make a horrible mess of the geometry. You can see all the triangles as I've collapsed that have appeared. Um, Pretty awkward to texture, uh, not a lot of, you can't do a lot with it. I mean, sometimes you'll get away with it, sometimes you won't. So here's another way to get rid of that boolean. Um, this is a nice, simple way. Uh, I'm actually going to start with a tube. So I'm going to start with a tube. Um, the sections you use is entirely dependent on what you're doing. I'm going to suggest 8 or 16, just, just to show you what you're doing. If you want to use more, you can do. So first thing I'm going to do is... Let's say I'm happy with the size of that hole. I'm going to collapse that tube. And then all I'm going to do is click on the two sides here. Then on the, using the scale tool, just on this axis, just pull that in. Do the same on the opposite. Get the two sides on the x axis. Scale that until it will scale no more. Same on this side. And the same over here. There we go. Hole in a box. Nice and easy. Got some good geometry to work with. You might want to cover that and pull it out. And you can start to see that we've got something that you can work with. Something going to be at texture okay. No triangles. Um, all good. Good to go. Like I said, if you want to work with more geometry than that, you could use a cylinder, sorry, a tube with say 16 sections. Um, if you're using 16 sections, rather than just selecting two polygons, you'd select four. Again, scaling until it hits that point being completely flat. There we go again. On this side, Let's go until it's flat. And on this side, finally. And there we go. That's pretty much what you want. Uh, geometry you can work with. It's subdivide quite nicely. Uh, we're all good to go there. Uh, that's it for this one, guys. So I hope you learned something there. And yeah, stay subscribed to the channel, and there'll be new stuff coming soon. Thanks for watching.